Voluspa, stanzas 31 through 40. 31. I saw for Baldur, the bleeding god, the son of Othan, his destiny set, famous and fair, in the lofty fields, full grown in strength, the mistletoe stood. 32. From the branch which seemed so slender and fair came a harmful shaft, that Hoth should hurl. But the brother of Baldur was born ere long, and one night old fought Odin's son. 33. His hands he washed not, his hair he combed not, till he bore to the bale blaze Baldur's foe. But in Finselir did Frigg weep sore for Valhall's need. Would you know Yet more? 34. Then did Valley Slaughter Bonds twist. Made fairly grim were those fetters of guts. 35. One did I see in the wet woods bound, a lover of ill unto Loki like. By his side does Sigyn sit, nor is glad to see her mate. Would you know yet more? 32. Baldur, the death of Baldur, the son of Odin and Frigg, was the first of the great disasters to the gods. The story is fully told by Snorri. Frigg had demanded of all created things, saving only the mistletoe, which she thought too weak to be worth troubling, footnote P15, about an oath that they would not harm Baldur. Thus it came to he a sport for the gods to hurl weapons at Baldur, who of course was totally unharmed thereby. Loki, the troublemaker, brought the mistletoe to Baldur's blind brother Hoth, and guided his hand in hurling the twig. Baldur was slain, and grief came upon all the gods, cf. Baldur's drummer. The lines in this and the following stanza have been combined in various ways by editors, lacunae having been freely conjectured, but the manuscript version seems clear enough. The brother of Baldur, Vali, whom Othan begot expressly to avenge Baldur's death. The day after his birth he fought and slew Hoth. 33. Frigg, Othan's wife. Some scholars have regarded her as a solar myth, calling her the sun goddess, and pointing out that her home in Finselir, the sea halls, symbolizes the daily setting of the sun beneath the ocean horizon. 35. The translation here follows the Regis version. The Hawks book has the same final two lines, but in place of the first, footnote P16, Per has, I know that Vali, his brother Nod, with his bowels then, was Loki bound. Many editors have followed this version of the whole stanza or have included these two lines when marking them as doubtful with the four from Regis. After the murder of Baldur, the gods took Loki and bound him to a rock with the bowels of his son Narfi, who had just been torn to pieces by Loki's other son, Vali. A serpent was fastened to above Loki's head, and the venom fell upon his face. Loki's wife Sigyn sat by him with a basin to catch the venom, but whenever the basin was full and she went away to empty it, then the venom fell on Loki again till the earth shook with his struggles, and there he lies, bound till the end. C.F. Lokasena, Concluding Prose. That is the end. Join me for the next.